what is up everyone thank you for watching thank you for coming to the channel i'm superfly jimmy and today we're doing something different i'm coming up with like a four or five parter video on uh as the the title would suggest on the famous 2003 star wars game knights of the old republic can you beat star wars knights of the old republic with only d's hands i already knew i wanted this character to look like the greatest of all time Just a quick uh, technical bit. So the three stats we're going to be focusing on is strength, dexterity, and uh, constitution. Constitution is health. Dex is dexterity is basically accuracy and your dodge ability. And strength is um, damage dealt. So I'm going to just dump all these points. Another thing, these feats are basically like perks. And I'm taking a perk that allows me to attack twice in one round. And that, oh my god, does it help. Float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, baby. And we are off. I'm just sleeping normally, enjoying a peaceful night when suddenly, boom. A man runs in and he tells me something unimportant. I don't care. Something about this Sith. I don't know. I just woke up, but it sounded like a fight. So I immediately ran to my locker and prepared myself. This atrocious piece of clothing and the weapons that God gave me. I was ready to do battle. Oh, not the 2v1. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge. Oh, no, no. Oh, damn, bro. You almost had... Wait, why am I standing out here? What the... F Just gotta remove his weapon. And this fight goes to something little like this. I'm actually surprised that first fight wasn't a disaster. Trask definitely just punched that man once and he just went down. I do not want to fight this guy. It's funny because I was feeling good and then not one fight after that I got into this. And I just want you guys to, to watch this scene. It's a, it's a good scene. Honestly, this was great back in the day. Look at that. Boom. Same dying sound effect three times. So there was two Sith at the end of that, right? Oh, okay, three. What the? F so I guess people are just popping out of thin air now. This is the second fight on normal. Killed them. Got to watch a Jedi win a fight, then explode. Beat up some more dudes in the starboard part of the ship. And finally, finally, leveled up. See all these great, wonderful skills? Some of them allow you to go invisible, you can repair stuff, you can persuade, all that. I'm not doing any of that. I just need to punch people and heal myself. So I'm going with treat injury. Because that affects health gain from stim impacts. So I'm in there, baby. And I realized in this playthrough, I put toughness. But in the other, um, the actual playthrough um, that I'm doing, I put um, implant. So, um... Toughness gives you health gain per level, but um, yeah, I didn't go with that. And as I was explaining all that, um, Trask decided to um, sacrifice himself to a uh, Dark Jedi, so that happened. On we go! I paused for a moment and thought about it. I am alone. Finally! And my suspicion was finally confirmed. I'll be fine by myself. I really thought I was going to have a lot of trouble with this playthrough, kind of like running alone. But after these couple fights, I'm like, well, look, boom, down. And then look, these two guys, boom, bop, dead. I know this isn't part of the challenge, but it's because I had to. I literally, it would not not let me open the door. So I kind of electrocuted a couple guys, whatever. I got into an escape pod with a creepy man, crashed, had a weird dream about a woman, woke up, put my combat suit on, and was ready to head out into the world. So, like any normal sane person would do after crashing onto this godforsaken rock, I headed straight to the bar. And just like most other bars in my experience, it was not delightful. It featured a woman who would stop talking to me if I didn't give her credits, just like in real life. And this card game, which is just atrocious. Pazak? Pazook? I don't know. Get it away from me. I don't want nothing to do with it. This bar and this planet only has one thing that makes it all worth it. 
and that's watching an old man getting destroyed on screen. Which I got to partake in too. I ended up knocking him out. And then, actually, I ended up knocking out everybody. I'll just go ahead and say it. I'm not fighting fair. I'm doing that little kind of, I guess it's a glitch. You know, you attack and you run away and the computer doesn't get a chance to hit you. But that only works on one-on-one -on -one situations. And plus, if they hit you once, look what happens. Oh my god. New God Supreme Leader me, being who I am, I took my winnings and left. And then I ran across a couple delinquents who were robbing an old man. I quickly taught them a lesson, then taught the old man a lesson as well. Be strong or you'll die. So I robbed him as well. After robbing that poor defenseless old man, something awoken in me. Something dark. And I liked it. I needed more crimes to commit. My soul demanded it. So I stole some Sith clothes, collected a bounty, and went straight to the underworld. This part was pretty difficult and a pretty significant jump in difficulty considering almost every fight you get into has at least two or three people and they almost always have a blaster. So I, I definitely was getting destroyed for this, for a good amount of this run. I knew this part was coming up, I knew it was going to be pretty difficult, but I had no idea it was going to be this hard. These rat ghouls hit for like seven. They lower your stats. It's 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 a nightmare. It's really <laughs> it's so bad. This rat ghoul has probably only hit me like twice. And look at my health. I've like restarted this fight at least four or five times, and I just need finally dead. Mere moments after I defeated the rat ghoul, I contemplated whether I should continue the playthrough. Before I could even come up with an answer, a Twi'lek appeared out of nowhere and asked me to help her rescue her Wookiee slave. To which I immediately answered yes, as I too have always wanted a Wookiee slave. And for those of you who have like played this game, you probably know how hard this section is and you're probably wondering where I cracked. It's right about here. After this rat ghoul just destroys mission and then uh, two shots me, I had to level up. I had to, because the level two, it, it was not, it was not working. I just leveled me and mission up to level 5, and with my newfound power, the Rackools could barely hit me, the Gungans didn't even really stand a chance either. After wiping the floor with all of them, I rescued my Wookiee slave. With the walking carpet freed, the 12 year old unlocked the door allowing me to proceed. I ran into a Rancor, I just looked at it, and it exploded, for it already knew the outcome of that bout. I entered the base alone like Muhammad Ali enters the ring alone, and I was ready, and I beat every enemy, all of them. None of them stood a chance, except for one. And this is exactly why I cheat back. I can't even, I can't even move. Look, I was about to heal myself, boom. What? Nah. No, no, no. Shortly after pissing my pants in terror, I entered a pod race, where the prize was, you guessed it, another slave. I ended up winning the race, but she just happened to be a Jedi, so I needed a way off the planet now. So I entered the Sith base looking for the launch codes, and I was not prepared for this part. I had to leave like two or three times to sell items just to make sure I had enough med packs. The enemies here are large in number, but man, that Jedi at the end was tough. That fight was so hard, my character's body gave out even when he won the fight. He just died. He just couldn't do it anymore. With the Sith launch codes in hand, now all I needed was a ship. Guile informed me that a big time gangster had the fastest ship in the universe, so we headed there. As soon as I set foot in the gangster's estate, I went immediately to the slave quarters. Because, you know, this game is obsessed with slaves. After murdering all the guests and the staff, I went straight for the ship where I had to fight the gangster and his dog for it. And these dudes were no joke. I feel like the only reason we beat them is because we only had to kill one of them to trigger a cutscene. With the gangster down and the dog put to sleep, I quickly boarded the ship, blasted a couple more ships, and got up out of there. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Thank you for coming this far. Please leave a like, comment, anything that I can improve. Feedback is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for the next video. And of course, I killed Bendak.